Hi guys, I hope everyone is great. I am another back again with one of the guests who is Vivek Kumar Gupta. He's now an alumni of Newton School. Today we are going to talk about him, his journey, how he has, you know, reached at this point of time. Uh, we will be talking about a lot of things, just a very candid conversation with Vivek. So hi Vivek, how are you? Uh, hello everyone. Hello ma'am. And first I want to share my thanks to entire Newton School Management and uh, a special thanks to Vansika ma'am for organizing such a AMS session. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you so much Vivek for joining uh, on a Saturday. I know it's not your working day and you, you have joined to share your uh, experience with us. So Vivek, let's talk about, we'll be going like in a, uh, like a flow so that our viewers can understand things in a more wider way. So let's start with your educational background. Vivek, uh, when have you done graduation and in which stream? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I'm graduated from Kurchita University and my course was B.Tech with Computer Science and Engineering. And also in 2012, I got selected in NTSC, that is National Talent Search Examination, and got a chance to get the scholarship from SCRT, State Council of Education Research and Training. Yeah, right. So, uh, Vivek, a lot of students would have this question. You are already from a CS background. You were yes, aware of coding. Uh, then uh, first let's understand after you graduated, did you work anywhere? You had any professional experience? Yeah, uh, in my uh, college from my campus placement, I uh, get uh, eight different different offers, but all are for the trainee post. And uh, yeah, I was aware uh, about the coding, but uh, in each and every uh, companies in which I placed, I was only able to solve only one coding question in the entire one hour. And I was facing many, you can say, trouble to complete one coding question. Because what the things in is, is college or in university, their course curriculum is just like we have to pass our semester exam only. And right now, what the requirement of the current market is not to read the theoretical aspects of DSA and the coding aspects. You have to be more practical in the coding and uh, the DSA sections. So this is the major difference between a university and the organization like U Newton School, they, what they are giving to us. All right. Yeah. So basically, uh, like when you are in college or uh, any institution that then there's a particular syllabus or curriculum, which is, again, I would not like to point out, but a bit outdated because there is yes. the only goal is to get the degree and so that you guys can get then sit for placement. But there is lack of practical training, which I have been seeing for quite a long time. And again, uh, development, web development is a domain where you need to know the practical knowledge more than theoretical knowledge, I believe. Even if you're not good at explaining a lot of things to anyone, if you can develop and write, I mean, code something big, I think that makes more sense, right? Yeah, ma'am, uh, uh, for this point, you are 100% correct because right now what the course curriculum of the colleges and universities, they are a little bit outdated. They are not as per the exact market requirement. But in Newton School, there is different different program like full stack development program for the front end, for the back end and for the uh, Java developer role as well. There is, uh, you can say, arrangement of different different mentors and they are the people who are currently working in the market. They are currently working professional and they are the people who know what the current exact market requirement. So we are lucky to have like uh, such uh, in, uh, mentors in our Newton school because if they are not available, then we guys are not able to know what the requirement of the market and we can't brush up our coding skills and all. So instead of outdated slavers, what the current exact market requirement we and uh, I, I came uh, across to know about all the things by the help of Newton School. So this is the that case is right now in the education field that we are facing. Okay. All right. So uh, Vivek, after uh, your like uh, graduation, you started working. So uh, how long did you work? So uh, just uh, I've completed 1.4 year uh, in my company. It, it was a France based MNC. So I was uh, working as a React developer trainee in my company. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are the best example for this then Vivek that you are already from CS background. You had uh, industry experience. You have worked somewhere and you know coding inside and out. So what made you choose Newton School after you graduated, after you started working somewhere? Where exactly did you think that something is lagging and I should join an institution like Newton School? 
yes ma'am uh, so it's a very good question from you ma'am uh, because if i if i if i can recall then uh, uh, in the middle of uh, my entire career with the company uh, they gave me the projects of uh, react and they told me to start uh, your training of the react development and uh, i was learning the things from the uh, you can say different different uh, websites like w3 schools like some youtube uh, channels as well but uh, the major aspects is if you will encounter with any doubt then no where no anyone is available to solve your doubts and how the things are going on what the things behind the scene is working so it is totally lack if a students wants to start their career by his own like some udemy channels and all uh, but it is impossible for me as well and uh, in my company there was scenario that i was the only one uh, candidate who started working as a react in the react project as well and all the teams was in australia and there is different time zone in indian time zone when i was joining they are leaving uh, the you can say their job okay yeah. so that was a scenario there was no one who uh, is able to help you in your doubts as well so at that point of time my uh, my brother was saying that he was in different university and many students are getting placed from newton school uh, in his university as well uh, they were from the cs background and my brother was from electrical then he suggest me uh, why you are not join newton school then i was in doubt that uh, i don't want to learn aptitude and all because i was not aware what the course curriculum of newton school then uh, forcefully he told me please join newton school because what you are thinking aptitude this is not uh, and he suggest me there is dsa there is react redux different different things then i uh, join newton school and when i get through the course curriculum of newton school and totally astonished this is the thing what we require and what a uh, uh, candidate required to if he want to uh, brush up his skills so this is the things ma'am thank you so much vivek because uh, students today are from various different backgrounds uh, i generally have these ama's where people from non technical background are coming and excelling and then getting a job in 6 months someone who has no experience of coding coming from uh, backgrounds like bcom ba where they did not even know a single simple program and then in 6 months to 8 months if someone has the courage to learn everything from scratch and then getting a job then of course i believe uh, there are a lot of things that comes at stake so vivek uh, let's also uh, so summarizing whatever you said you graduated in the year uh, i guess 2000 what 2021. 2021 yeah yes uh that to in cs after that uh, from your own uh, college you got seven to eight offers but most of them were in support and yeah. uh not so technical like yes. domains so uh, training, but training still, domain, yeah. yeah training domain okay yeah so after that also you continued almost a year and a half to sort of understand if you can learn things by yourself uh, yes. since you are already working maybe your colleagues or maybe your uh, as any senior manager is going to help you and train you Correct. but uh, all of us know that the industry does not work like that we have to learn yes. things from our own and again you uh, went online to various resources to understand if you can get help by your own which did not happen that's when yes, your brother yes. told you that you should join newton school and he uh, will uh, he was a bit you know he, i think he already knew about newton school before or he may be a yeah. part of it yeah. and then because he in his college you, many students are getting placed from newton school by the help of newton school then he suggested me to join yeah and once you were in then you uh, understood what needs to be done yes. right yeah 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 we were coming to your uh, journey during newton school during the co course of newton school let's understand was it really difficult because uh, i hope you were working while you were learning right yes yes so i joined so, newton school in feb 2022 ma'am uh, you are saying something yeah please proceed yeah just one question i want to know how can someone like because there are a lot of students from different perspectives especially talking about working professionals they believe learning something from scratch requires a lot of time and if you need to quit your job if you want to learn so i would like to hear from you vivek because you are the perfect example for this that how should a working professional learn while they are working yeah so uh, uh, i just want to start uh, when i joined newton school it was feb 2022 and uh, the, uh, the entire course curriculum is 6 month but thing is that it is little but a little bit uh, tough to maintain your job as well and uh, newton school as well but here newton school uh, is giving some good things uh, for the working professional as well because the entire classes is starting from 9 to uh, 11 
and then there uh, there is a mentor session as well uh, it is from 11 to 12:30 so if you are a working professional then might be possible your uh, job duration will be 9 to 6 then from uh, 9 means 9 pm to uh, 12 there is classes and mentor session as well so yeah thing is uh, very good we can maintain the decorum of our job as well as our uh, newton school course but uh, we have to make extra effort as well i was uh, uh, wake up early in the morning uh, around 5 to 8 i have the plenty of time to revise the things then from 8 pm i started with the newton school year today i have to learn something because in the advance there is uh, the assignment and all so yeah to maintain both the things in parallel it is little bit tricky because in some point of time i was in that situation that i want to quit my job because uh, the pace of the class the assignment the mock interview totally you can say hell life was there but thing is yeah. that if you want to get the placement with the high package and as per your expectation then you have to maintain the things but it is a myth that a student can't maintain the things if you have your will power you can say hi you can manage the things then it you are good to go you can do the things so this was the total you can say scenario of course because the, like you said it it is going to be challenging uh, like you used to wake up at 5 in the morning till 8 and then after from 9 to 6 you have your work coming back starting from 8 pm to so i think we need to understand that it if you need to change your life your career in 6 months then of yes. course you need to uh, you need to work even much harder during those 6 months definitely right? ma'am Definitely. Six months. I must. I I I understand yeah. that you must have lost a lot of sleep, lost a lot of you know going yeah. uh, out with friends, doing a lot of sacrifice, yeah. especially when you are working. Yes, ma'am. In the entire uh, six months journey, I was almost uh, switch off from the entire social media. I don't know. Even ma'am, just I want to share you things. In my room, there is a uh, you can say window. and uh, light is not coming from the window and i was not able to think that uh, it is currently day or it is currently night Be- uh, just i am giving you the simple example of a saturday because in saturday i was not going to office and i was totally it, it was unbelievable when i am coming out from my room oh it is night so this type of things is also uh, happen in my career as well in the six month journey but my mentor was saying if you will uh, give your maximum effort in the six month then your entire life will be good so it is totally dependent on you you have to give the six month or you have to uh, face the things in your company what things are going on so i choose exactly. hard six month instead of hard entire life exactly that's a really big statement if if sacrificing a bit of your uh, these things every now and then that only for six months can change your entire life i believe that's worth it yes yes totally Okay, Vivek. Let's now understand a bit about your during while you were uh, in your course. You said that you used to study like that. So uh, let's talk about while uh, during the placement phase, students are always nervous about how to prepare for interviews, how to you know face the interviews if they are not they don't have good communication skills. So uh, do you believe if a, uh, let's take an example of person A. if person a does not have great communication skills but they know really really good uh, technical knowledge do you think they can crack the interview yeah ma'am uh, communication skill is uh, a specific part for the person a and the f- for the person b if he is very good in communication and technical but i am talking about the first person who is little bit nervous in communication but he is good with tech skills so what are the things uh, around 69 referrals i got from newton school and each and every interview that i face they are looking for the tech stack first some something around uh, like uh, if something messy things like they give me a linkless program and they were vivek aise karo na ye i want the another approach as well so communication is not a barrier for the interview aspects if you are good in tech stack then you are good to go you can easily crack the things but yeah in hr round it is mandatory that you have to be good in communication skill but because it is a requirement for the company itself because if you will place in that company then how will you communicate with the american client how will you communicate with the australian client so little bit and also one thing i want to share because i think that my communication skill was good from my college itself but yeah many students was facing the things and our mentor was guiding them like we indian are just thinking first we are thinking and then we are translating then we are saying so there is yeah. a very great duration so instead of this if you will 
think and you will not going to translate you what you are thinking same you have to say to the another one you have to communicate so you have to minimize the duration then you get the actual flow so this is the hack how you can uh, be good in your communication skills and many yeah. students are trying th uh, this way and uh, the results is very good and beneficial great i i believe you have literally very good communication skills because you are able to you know tell each and everything to me uh, and a lot of students who would be watching this video also vivek i think that's it from my end it is it has been a great 15 minute conversation with you i wish you all the best for the uh, job that you have just secured all of us at the newton school are really really proud that someone like you who is working day and night and studying and working so hard has achieved such thing it is a huge huge a uh, matter of proud uh, pride for us because i want to convey your story to the world and let them know that even you can do it if you have the time because vivek was able to do it when he did not have the time so that's it from my end vivek do you have any message for the viewers for one last time yeah uh, if uh, the viewers are from newton school and if they are a, a student or working professional then my only one message uh, the thing is you have to brush up your dsa in a specific manner and in that manner whatever the requirement of the market and the company and uh, if uh, you are joining if you have uh, joined newton school then little bit uh, tough to manage the things but thing is that they will give you the path and they will suggest you where to go but you the you are the people you have to walk on that path and you have to reach on the destination and also i want uh, to uh, wrap up the entire session by the famous quote of swami vivekananda arise awake and stop not until the goal is reached so do your effort and uh, there is the you can say fruit fruitful things is available yeah thank you so much vivek uh, i hope you join the new job as soon as possible and let me know how your work, first working day was all right yes i'm sure no definitely and i'm totally excited for that as well <laughs> Chalo, thank you, Vivek. Thank you so much for joining on a Saturday. Hope you enjoy your weekend. It's the time to party. You yes. should enjoy that. Take a take rest now and just chill for yes. two days. Thank yeah. you, ma'am, for your valuable time thank as well. You. Thank you, Vivek. See you soon. Bye. Your ma'am. Bye, ma'am.